Good morning from Esther's Field. This morning I just wanted to show you uh, my lip balm display. I've been working on these lip balms and getting them wiped down and labeled and packaged and put into the display and I wanted to show you how I dress up my display. What I use is I use a Coca-Cola crate. Um, not this one. What I've done on mine is I've painted the inside of them black. Most of them are reproduction anyway and you can get them for anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. But there's no real good place to put a label um, or to write on this. They don't stick very well even if you paint them. This one's pretty nice which definitely means it's a rep reproduction. So what I did was I made these sleeves and that way when I change labels or brands I can change it out. And then my lip balms sit in there and these are hung on a wall in my shop, but you could use them uh, standing upright on a table, put some little feet or something on them to make them freestanding. My other crate is actually deeper. You'll notice it's even with the top of this. And these on this crate are a little bit deeper down inside, so you could actually shorten this out. Um, this is three and a half inches deep, so you could make it three inches instead of, the, of, of what I'm doing. So I'll show you how I make those. It's very similar to the gift box we did the other day. So we're going to use some heavy duty cardstock that holds up. We're going to put it in here with the long way of the paper going this way. And through trial and error, um, this box is two and three eighths. So we'll score at two and three eighths, four and three quarters, seven and an eighth, nine and a half and then we're going to give um, because we need a flap to glue we're going to give ourselves another half inch we're going to come over here to the 10 inch and mark that this becomes scrap all right so now we're going to make this part right here and we're going to score it at half an inch you could make it deeper if you want and then the end of the box is at the four inch mark, which when you take off this half inch makes it three and a half. Flip your paper over because we're gonna get two out of this since we're not putting a back on it. Half an inch and four inches. All right, so now it's time to trim up. We're going to cut the boxes apart. The good thing about using the heavy cardstock like this is if it gets messed up or you discontinue a flavor, um, you can just pull that sleeve out and trash it and make another one. You can handwrite on the lip if you want to handwrite on it. Um, I don't do that. I use something else, which I'll show you in a little bit. So we're only going to mess with this one right now. So now that we've got all the scrap cut away, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this lip right here on the short end up to that line. Then over here next to this one, we're going to come over about half an inch. It's going to be about the same size and we're just going to nip it up to the line. I don't have it scored so I'm just guessing. Those become the flaps for the front to hold this in place. Okay and then we get rid of this excess here and when you cut this you cut it all the way to the line so that it makes a flap okay I'm gonna fold 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 and fold. All right. And you can see how quick this goes. 
going to use a really thin line of hot glue. Seat it up. Make sure it's in there good and tight. All right. This is a high temp glue gun, so it burns my fingers all the time. All right. We're going to fold the flat, the top flap over. Put a little dab of glue. Doesn't take much. We'll line it up. Pull all your hot glue spiders off of there. So to make my name tabs, I use one of these. Um, this is about the third one that I've owned. Yes, uh, I would say that I've worn them out, but I think that they got lost uh, in the flood because um, I'm missing two other ones that I know I own. And you get, when you print them out, you get a label like this. And sometimes I'll trim the excess off so that there's a little bit of that pink shows. Then when you go to put it in your crate, if you're standing it long ways, you stick it in that way. Or that way. And some of the labels, let me see if I have one still. I printed this way because mine are actually mounted on a wall at an angle. So I am printing some of my labels long ways like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for joining me.